you have when you start working on it, you will create the four supervisory organizations. You can create XYZ motors at the top and then create subordinates to create the other three. Okay, now what I will show you is how to hire a worker. Okay, how to hire a worker, because that is not what is explicitly mentioned here. The rest of the things you will be able to do. Just that the hire might be a bit tricky. So let me show you the hiring for both a job management organization and a position management organization. Right. In your assignment. It is only job management. But still, I will show you the one for job management as well as for position management. Okay. So first we will go at the top level organization. At the top level organization, that is, XYZ Motors. Right. We will go here, and the first thing we have to do is simplify the business process as of now. We are not very familiar with the business processes, right? So we do not want to go through the conditional approval and different types of tasks that we will typically need to do. So we will create a very simplified version of the higher business process. How to do that? We go to the related actions. And then we go to business process, create copy or link definition. This is mentioned in your assignment, so you don't need to take notes as of now. Create copy or link definition. So what is the business process type? First of all, we are going to do hire. Okay, the hire business process, we search for hire and we will say none of the above. We are not choosing any of the copy or link option. We are just saying none of the above and click OK. OK, why we are doing it? We will understand when we do business process. Week 3 but now just follow along what are given in the assignment. Just create a copy of the higher business process and click OK. All right. And you will also copy another business process, that is the edit, hiring restrictions. For all of your assignments. I mean for this assignment at least, sorry assignment to your. All your staffing models are job management. And when you create the job profiles, you do not have to fill in a lot of details. You may. If you want to practice your profiles, you may want to put it, but it is not necessary. And the hiring restrictions for all of your organization are also very simple and straightforward. They are saying no job restrictions. Okay for hiring. It would say no job restrictions. But yeah, so this is. This is a simple thing. We did copy the business process definition. Now for this organization, XYZ Motors. Is it ready for hiring? What do you think? Is it okay for hiring now? This is because it has a position, and it is available to feel very important right. It has to be ready, approved, available to fill. So. So in the position management organization. This is not in your assignment, but still let me show you. In a position management organization, you can go to the related actions of the position. Okay, and initiate the hire and initiate the hire. Otherwise, you can also go to the related actions of the organization and then do the hire same thing. The only difference is if you go, if you started from the position, the position will be automatically selected for you. If you go from the supervisory organization, you have to select the position. That's the only difference, right?
so I, if there is a position available, I prefer initiating from the position itself. One less thing to worry about, right? So you go from the related actions of the position and you go to higher. Choose the second option. Now you may be confused why we have four higher employees. Again, we will talk about this when we do security. Somebody messed this up, so we will clean it up when we do security, but as of now, try to use the second option. Okay, hire employee. Don't ask me why, I'll tell it to you when we do security, okay? Second option in hire employee, okay, then we will create a new pre-hire. A pre-hire is the candidate that you are going to hire in the system. Okay when, before you hire, you must create a candidate that is a worker that you are. That is a candidate you are going to hire into the position or into the organization. First, we need to create a pre-hire. Okay, create a new pre-hire. Click OK. So when we create a pre-hire, we have to mention some name and address. Okay, so we will call it as WW underscore. Daniel. Slow and right. That is the name of our CEO. So we are going to fill this. We are going to use this, Daniel Sloan. We have to give a contact information. Okay, the simplest and the easiest way to give a contact information is to put in an email. Okay, otherwise, if you put an address, it will do a validation on the zip code, etc. If you put a phone number, it might do a validation on the area code. So just keep it simple. Go for an email. So we will say D. Sloan, first character of the first name and the entire last name. So D. Sloan, and we have a prefix of WW for everything that we are doing at the rate. Use testcom. Do not use real domains like Google or Yahoo or Rediff or AO, L or Outlook Right. Do not use those real email domains because what happens if, for some reason, the error notifications are triggered? We don't want to spam somebody else's email with proper error notifications, right? They may not even be aware of it. So do not use those real domains, use something like testcom. And in the type of address, choose work. Right, choose work address, and then it automatically, the primary work, etc. Would be selected. So you are covered click. Okay. All right. So now you see, we have created a free hire, called Daniel Sloan. So we are hiring Daniel Sloan, and what is the hire date in the assignment? It says, use today's date as the hire date. Okay, so we will use today's date. The reason is optional, but you may put in one for reporting purposes. Okay, so it's a new hire, and let's say it's a new position. New hire, new position. The position is already selected for you. Employee type, we will choose regular. Okay, it's a regular employee. The job profile, we have to choose the job profile. So we will select. So you know what? Why we don't have the job profile? Because we have not put that in our hiring restrictions. So that is why it is asking you for the job profile. So we created one right. Let's search for the one that we created. So, Chief Executive Officer, this is a job profile that we created, so we will choose that. What is the time type? Is this going to be a full-time worker or a part-time worker? Let's select full-time and the location. So in your assignment, the location for Daniel Sloan is Chicago. 
write Chicago, so you may want to choose that. Or, if you want, if you have created any other location, you may choose that as well. So let's go for WWEW Rally. You. I mean, I would, I would recommend that you create a version of Chicago like W, W underscore Chicago or something, and then use that as part of your assignment, right? So here I use W, W, E just to show that we can choose any location. But one very important thing. I want you to notice at the time of hiring. Is the location a mandatory field, yes or no? Yes. Yes, is the job profile a mandatory field? Yes. Yes, yes, right. So these two are very important. The job profile and the location has to be mentioned at the time of hiring. Okay. All right, and this is a location that you, that we created, so this location will take effect for the particular worker. It doesn't matter what location you are in. What is the primary location of the supervisory organization? You saw that it did not prompt automatically. It doesn't say, okay, take the supervisory organization's location, doesn't? It doesn't because it doesn't matter. It has no bearing. The primary location of the supervisory organization has no bearing on the location of the individual worker. OK, right now click on Submit, Submit OK. Let me ask you this. If a page has Submit at the bottom. Yeah, it has a business process associated with it. That is what we would say. We do not know if it has an approval or not, because we created a simplified version of the higher business process a few minutes ago, right? and there we did not put in any approval or anything. We just left it as it is one step. So the moment you create the business, for I mean you initiate the business process, it will be completed because there are no other steps. That's what we did. So now, once you create, once you submit, if you see this green tick mark, that means it went through successfully. There are, the process is complete. There is no other pending action. You may want to click on View Details to see what happened. Expand the details and process and you see that, okay, there is this position, P06049. Weiss, oh the process is higher, Daniel Sloan, and the overall status is successfully completed. Right for this supervisory organization is, crawl down. You can view the details. This was the position. The employee type is regular. The job profile location, everything that we selected is showing up. All right.